Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to do our first spin in the Boost 2 Plus Flex Centrifuge. Your first spin in the Boost 2 Plus Flex. Your Boost 2 Plus Flex is set up, and now we're ready for our first spin. Before we can spin a cycle in the Boost 2 Plus Flex, we need to make sure that the centrifuge is correctly loaded. That means the samples it will spin are balanced. Like any centrifuge, the Boost 2 Plus Flex should always be run with a balanced load. This helps keep the lab safe and ensures the maximum lifespan of your centrifuge. Step 1. Make sure that both buckets are loaded in your Boost 2 Plus Flex. These buckets do not snap or click into place, but simply rest on the pins in the centrifuge rotor. Step 2. Place inserts if needed to spin a smaller tube. If using inserts, they must match. The insert in one bucket must be the same dimensions as the insert in the second bucket. Step 3. Place your sample. It should be securely seated within the insert or bucket, but should not snap or click into place. If only spinning one sample, you'll need a counterbalance in the other bucket. This should be an identical tube filled with an equivalent volume of water. The counterbalance should be roughly the same weight as your filled tube. With your buckets placed, your inserts, if needed, inside them, and your tubes or tube and counterbalance in place, you're ready to spin. Close the lid. Secure the lid latch by pressing it down gently and turning it a quarter turn clockwise. Next, adjust your settings. You can adjust RPM and time using the buttons next to their display windows. For a more detailed guide, click the video on your screen. In our case, we're going to run at 2000 RPM for three minutes. Once our settings are displayed as desired, we check that our lid is closed and latched, and then press the Start button. The centrifuge will start spinning. Once it reaches the programmed RPM, the timer will start counting down. Once it has run the full time, the centrifuge will begin to slow down, applying the brake as set. Once it has come to a complete stop, the lid lights will flash and the centrifuge will beep to let you know it's done. And that's all there is to it. If you have any other questions, you can always contact Drucker Customer Service and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.